So because of this bishop g4, you know, in this position after knight f3 and bishop g4, uh, it was difficult to find an advantage. So people, they started to play bishop to g5 in this position. And that can become very sharp if black allows it. Uh, he has, of course, a very solid option here with e6, but I suggest in this DVD to capture on c4 and to go for the sharp uh, lines. Of course, here are many options. Uh, white can capture on c4. He can also uh, play uh, d5 straight, or he can uh, play knight f3. And we will start with uh, knight f3 first. After knight f3, it's important that we ask the bishop immediately, what do you want? Uh, if the bishop moves to h4 here, then we gain a tempo and we can then uh, secure the pawn on c4 with a clear advantage. White can't get that pawn back. If he try to with queen a4, black can just play queen b6 and everything is in order for black and but not for white. You can check that. Bishop captures f6 with your chess program. It's always a good idea to check uh, the lines with your chess program uh, and uh, it's not possible in one hour to show you everything. Uh, but to give you ideas and uh, to give you a, a line that you can play afterwards is important for me. E captures f6 and after bishop captures c4 and bishop d6 it seems to be very satisfactory position for black here. Black uh, is equal and uh, he has not any problems actually. I think uh, white should uh, prevent bishop g4 here. If he doesn't, if he play rook e1 and bishop g4 and then d5 because uh, d4 was hanging, then, um, then uh, knight e5 looks very strong uh, and you can see that uh, black gets a very strong game on the black squares. h3. Uh, here it's possible to play bishop d7, but now we will follow a game where Ivanchuk played white against uh, Arunian. And uh, just to show you how to play it, uh, Arunian uh, faced bishop d3 here and then he answered at with queen d7. It's also possible to play bishop d7, it's also possible to capture on d3. Both uh, moves are playable. He did uh, queen d7 and after an exchange on f5, Aronian uh, again had to face a uh, move, uh, queen b3, uh, active move, uh, attacking his b7 pawn. It's possible to play passive with queen d7, Aronian chose to play knight a5, and the idea is that after rook f to c8, knight b5, closing for uh, the fifth rank, attacking both the knight with the queen and then bishop with the knight. But here knight c4 seems to work perfectly since uh, b3 can be answered with a6. And after an exchange on queen of queens on b5, then the pawn structure has been weakened and black has no worries. He will definitely get his pawn back. Uh, so after knight c4 in the game happened rook f to c1 and then after an exchange on d6 uh, the game is about equal. Uh, here Aronian played queen d5. It looks also as if it's a strong move because after rook c5 and an exchange on c5 Aronian, uh, no sorry, uh, even to, couldn't capture back with the d-pawn. If he did then the pawn would soon be lost after rook c8. So he captured with the queen and after queen e6, uh, d5, queen d7, again the position is about equal. Uh, white uh, have difficulties to uh, to get anything active going because that knight on d6 is really a strong piece and it's difficult to find a work f uh, to do for this knight f3. Uh, the best he can do is probably just to exchange on d6, but then the king is on its way to take over. So here, uh, white must be careful. And he wasn't, because after his next move, rook c1, he was going to lose the pawn on d5. And after losing the pawn on d5, then later he also lost the game. 
um, well played by um, Arunian and this is a good example how you can play uh, this line.